Hey everybody, I'm Tommy. In this video, I'm gonna answer the questions that keep getting emailed to me and direct message to me, and that is, am I gonna keep making videos for this channel, and where have I been for the last year? Uh, the short answer is yes, of course I'm gonna keep making videos for this channel, and as to where I've been, I have been going out of my mind building this which is a manually operated espresso machine. I call it the lever head. Whether it's your first time here or even if you've been here before, welcome to One Minute Workbench. This project has been the single most challenging thing I have ever done in my life. It's also the most rewarding thing I've ever done in my life. It has pushed the boundaries of my knowledge. It's pushed me out of my comfort zone and it's allowed me to marry two of my most favorite things in the world, which is coffee and building machines in my garage. After all, this is just another type of machine. Instead of doing some sort of shop task, it makes espresso, really good espresso. It has been so challenging to find just the right integration of so many different materials and disciplines to come up with the formula that makes this thing work the way that it does. It has really pushed me to be a better maker and better at what I do. Before I started this project, I thought I knew a little something about physics and plastics, elastomers, machining parts, and a lot of things really. And what this project has taught me is that I still had a lot to learn. As I mentioned, this project has taken the better part of a year. So there's basically too much footage to condense down into a straightforward build video. So instead, I'm just gonna try to give you an overview, you know, to try to explain what it has taken in order to bring this thing to life. The earliest prototypes were built with off-the-shelf components and those failed. Oh no. Nope, we get a bad leak. Bad, bad leak. The prototypes that followed the earliest ones involved more and more custom parts and many of those failed. Whoa. See that? Mm-hmm. What's that coming from? Right in between the plies. What? Between the plies? Yeah. See it? Yeah. Wait. Oh, shit. Well, it's a failure. Leaking. About 50 PSI. That was a disaster. At the time, I had a CNC router that I was using to help me make the wooden components for this project. But at some point along the way, I decided that I needed more help making the metal components. So I sold that CNC router and I bought a CNC machine that was designed specifically for cutting metal. Smarter than the big chunk of metal. Just getting the machine set up and building an enclosure for it took some time, but the real challenge was learning how to actually use the thing. I had designed uh, lots of parts to be machined by somebody else who knows what they're doing uh, back when I worked as an engineer, but I had never actually machined my own parts. It was a significant learning curve. And you know, it just took time for me to get up to speed where I could make good metal parts. This project really began to take shape when I gave up on the idea of using off-the-shelf O-rings 
and started making my own silicone seals. In fact, the only reason this machine is able to work the way that it does is because of these custom silicone parts. This machine has a better workflow than probably any other manual espresso machine out there. And again, that goes back to innovating new types of seals. All in all, I've made at least a dozen prototypes before landing on this one that is just rocking it day in and day out. On this channel, I like to make projects that people can replicate at home with a relatively limited set of tools. Uh, as you have probably figured out by now, this is not one of those projects. It's just simply outside of the realm of what your average garage workshop can produce. So this is also the first thing I'm ever gonna offer as a physical product for sale on this channel. I've set up a Kickstarter to bring this project to life. So if you or one of your friends is a coffee or espresso enthusiast like myself, follow the links to the Kickstarter campaign down in the description below and pledge your support today. Thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. More videos are coming soon. I won't leave you hanging as long until the next one. I promise. If you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions about this, hit me up on social media. As always, until the next time I see you, I hope you have fun building something.